not all data is cross-section, not all data is cross-section in nature. Sometimes we have time series data. That is, uh, I might collect data about Nan Chin over many days. I observe what he, what is, uh, what the temperature was and how many cups of hot tea he drank day after day after day. So that would be a time series data set. Well, one of the things, if I'm studying the daily temperature and Nanshin consumption of tea, one of the things that I know is that if it's cold today, it's probably going to be cold tomorrow, and it was probably chilly yesterday also. So day to day, there's some correlation in the data. And so therefore, the same goes for his tea consumption. If his tea consumption is how correlated with how cold it is, then I know that on cold days he's going to drink more tea. So if I saw that he had drank a lot of tea yesterday, and I know that today was cold, I'm pretty sure that he drank a lot of tea today. And similarly for tomorrow. If the weatherman tells me it's going to be cold tomorrow, I can say with some assurance, I can say Nan Chin is going to drop, drink some coffee or some tea rather again tomorrow. A lot. And so in that sense, the data is correlated day to day. So even though there's only one person in the sample, there's still a problem with the error term. And our notion, I, our idea now becomes, and we'll pick this up, whoa, it's too weak. The error term today depends on what happened yesterday to the error term, plus some white noise. That's a very specific kind of serial correlation in the error term. And we'll talk about how that affects the error covariance matrix. In its elemental form, the error covariance matrix looks very, uh, very dense because it has these correlations between the periods on all the off diagonals. However, because we know something about positive definite symmetric matrices, we know. We can reduce it to a problem in heteroscedasticity. And it turns out that the test, one of the tests that we use to test for serial correlation, is leveraged off the same kind of test that we use for heteroscedasticity. 